The Green government currently holds an airfield. It is the only airfield within a 25 mile radius. And these troopers have recently learned that the rest of their forces are dead. Meaning, if they want evacuation, they'd better hold this airfield. But the Red Army knows this as well. So, they've come with their garrison as well as plenty of panzers to try and take out the Green Army men. If the Greens manage to defeat this wave, they can successfully take off. But they can't move their planes while the enemy is attacking. Can the Greens evacuate after this defense, or will they go down and the Reds seize themselves the airfield? What's up gamers, I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton so thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to instant gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel Alrighty then boys the greens are surrounded on all sides here and their defenses are pretty staunch but they've only got small arms fire they don't have any tanks or anything like that just bazookas and good old-fashioned machine guns against about 400 red soldiers coming forward and there are about 150 greens in the airfield here so why don't we go in slow-mo and press start and the reds begin their march on the green lands here let's see if they can hold out because there's a lot of boys coming forward and they've got a bunch of these panzer 4g's Luckily, this is Rob's Realism mod with the Army Men mod, so Panzers go down pretty easily, as well as enemy infantry, which makes the defender's advantage so much greater. As you can see, the Greens did try and move a convoy out here to help out, but it got bombed out before it could reach the airfield, so, you know, they're just kind of sitting ducks. I do hear some fire. Is it coming from up here? Nope, that's a literal campfire. Where is the fire coming from? Let's, let's go normal speed and find out. Hold on. Maybe no one is firing. Maybe they're just yelling. Maybe they're just screaming bloody murder as these reds converge upon their position. All right, here we go. Here we go. The first shot's coming in the southeastern quadrant at the moment. And it looks like this bunker right here starts opening up with some M4s, some machine guns. Well, that SMG is not firing, but the enemy's not really quite close enough. And these guys right here, the Reds, they're coming across the river, and they're storming, Norman. They've only lost one soldier thus far, and they are absolutely spamming the living snot out of these Greens. But that doesn't matter, because the Greens get three more kills. Whoo! These Reds are kind of stacked up against each other here. Certainly doesn't help their defense one bit. That is pretty stupid. Oh, uh, we've got another dead Green soldier over this way. Yoikes! No bueno, and the Panzer 4G fires out and completely whiffs it and overshoots. We have this strange brick bunker right here, which is kind of cool to see. That's not really involved in the battle just yet. Um, and it looks like just now some of these Panzers are starting to get involved. Some of these red gunners will start firing soon. Oh, in these little ruins here, we've got actually quite a bit of battling going on, exploding some of these ruins. That's a piece of history, son. That belongs in a museum. Don't be shooting that. Oh, that's no bueno at all. These reds converging. And actually, it seems like the greens are kind of losing in this area over here. They have not killed nearly as many reds as the reds have killed of them. And a lot of their units are going down on this sandbag wall. No bueno. No bueno at all. They're, they are taking out a few more reds here, though. That's good. Uh, there are a lot of reds. That is for Swayton. And look at this. Look at this beautiful open field of reds charging. These greens need to start really firing out here. I think right now they are actually firing at the Panzers, trying to maybe kill the gunners and stuff like that. Not focusing as much on the infantry, but at least they're firing in the right direction and they're, they're participating in this battle, which can't always be said for the AI in this game. Oh man, these, these Panzers are coming in close though. That's not good. This one did die here, which is very nice. Oh, and this one up here got toasted early. There is still, oh my god, look at this, a bazooka must have shot in these ruins and killed all those guys. That is insane. Whoo! Oh, on top of this little radio tower here, we do have ourselves 
a number of greens firing away as well and it looks like they are managing to take out some of these red folks beautifully done who are you guys rooting for I i'm going with the greens baby I, I want the good defense to win but of course they are very outnumbered and under a lot of pressure so it's going to be a tough w if they can get it at that but i still would like to see them take the w i think that would be very very fun indeed we will see if that happens though this whole blockade here is still very very strong though can't say the same for the other side though uh are these panzers going down that one's definitely down that one just took a gnarly really bad hit right there from bazooka and so that should be dead as well nicely done boys nicely done but the Reds still have a ton of troopers out here in the open, and only a few of them have died here and there. It's nothing too crazy. I think this corner is going to be very weak for the Greens very soon. Uh, this sandbag is completely dead now. We have a Panzer just moseying on in. If these guys want to turn around and shoot it, that would probably be ideal. There is a Flamer there. He could kill it probably fairly easily. Just burn out the engine. This bunker is dead, but they did a dang good job of taking out some reds before they went down that's that's really all we ask here do not let them destroy the planes though don't do it oh there's a bunch of guys in this little tiny concrete pillbox and they are getting shot up to high heaven let's go ahead and bump it up a speed here someone's got to take out this panzer it's going to take out one of their mustangs that's not good how are these bunkers doing okay they're still alive there's still some troops in there these guys are getting pretty badly suppressed but they're trying their best they're spamming fire as best they can. No! They have taken out one of the planes. Fellas, tell me someone's got something. No, those guys are all dead. I don't know. Oh, it did get tracked. Oh, no. Yikes. I wonder if breaking the plane is what tracks it, actually. That might be the problem. Is that the plane exploded, tracking it from behind. <laughs> I mean... Whatever works, but they don't have a bazooka close enough to kill it from now on, I don't think. These reds in this corner, man, it is it is a bad situation. Very, very bad. There's some greens back here that could potentially get some kills. One of them did just get domed, but we got a sniper here just flick shot in away. And he gets killed <laughs> very promptly after that. Yikes. Not good. All right, how we doing over here? Oh, yeah. These guys have killed many of these red soldiers now. Way to, way to go. Way to be. You guys are champs over here. I mean, these guys are, are currently clapping the cheeks of these red troops. I'm doing a bang-up job. These guys here are still very much alive as well. Uh, the reds over this way didn't seem to do well in the slightest. I mean, these guys got kind of butchered. So, at the moment, the north sector of the airfield seems to be doing quite well. The southern sector doing terribly. Doing really, really poorly. Um... Are the guys inside here dead? Uh, that man is still alive. There's still a sniper right there. That's good. But yeah, other than that, it's pretty bad. Um, this thing still lives on. This thing still lives on. It could just blow up this entire house over here that's filled with a small little garrison. Could just turn around and machine gun these guys down. I mean, bad, bad things can happen from that thing. <laughs> it needs to die, and it needs to die fairly soon, or it will crush these greens. No good at all. No good, boys. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. All right. Well, I am glad to see that people still are really enjoying uh, some army men content on the channel. Because I love doing these battles, man. There's something about toy soldiers fighting that is just so fun to me. It's, it's such an entertaining battle type. So, as long as you guys like it and enjoy it, I am more than happy to continue doing it. So, just... Let me know any battles you want to do, any ambushes, any defenses, any attacks, whatever you guys feel would make for the most fun of these battles, please let me know. Okay, we got grenades going out, they're trying to blow up the last of these troopers inside this little pillbox right here, it does not work, that trooper is still alive, he's got a sniper in a really bad position, so he'll probably die pretty soon, these guys down here all died, so this entire half is just gone. <laughs> And that guy did end up dying right there. Um, if we just look at the minimap, blue are greens left alive and red are reds. Um, minimap at the top left up here. Each dot represents a trooper. I mean, again, yeah, the north, very, very strong for the greens. The south, extremely disastrous currently. There is still a tank over this way. Is it tracked? It is tracked. Okay, so this thing won't come forward. Um, 
if the battle does simmer down at any point here, we will do the track rule, uh, which allows us to repair any tracked vehicles, but it seems like it's not needed right now. And I don't think the retreat rule is really needed either, because if we retreat any of these troopers, they will die. Um, it seems like this building, they're just shelling it to try and kill these guys. Uh, oh, these troopers here tried to get some shots off and get gunned down. The last Piat trooper right there, uh, probably going to die fairly soon as well. Oh, these reds have made a bit of a comeback and are creeping on forward here. Um, as a lot of this little area is getting killed and, and just destroyed as, you know, the reds are coming from the back over this way and from this way and from this way. These guys are just kind of sandwiched in and it's really, really brutal for them. Oh my god, huge explosions rocked these sandbags here, didn't they? Oh, those greens suffered. That's not good. These bunkers still alive. Still got a few soldiers over this way. And oh, this building got crushed. That building got toasted. Yikes. Not good. At least these guys still kicking and can hopefully kick for a while because that's what is needed. Let's go into normal speed here. Oh my god, these guys are going to get crushed slowly from all different sides here. And these dudes too. If they can just take a, a few more of these enemies with them. Should we try and get into one of the vehicles? Screw it, try and get into a plane. Go! Go, Lewis! Oh god, no. Oh! Oh yeah, okay, we're not going to risk anyone else. There's like zero chance they actually make it in there. Hold on, let me... Let me... Oh, we can't fire that far. Hold on. Oh, I can't fire the Piat that far either. Yikes, can we use it as a mortar over here? Ooh, good shot, whoever did that. Oh, it was this guy. Huh, weird. I didn't fire. I think he just fired on his own. Um, alright, we'll let them be. And we'll let them continue to fight the good fight here. But it is rough. Keep firing into these boys, boys. Get them kills. Piot's helping out a ton, and it looks like they've almost secured the east completely. There's just a couple more soldiers here that they need to kill. They're using a lot of Piat fire, man. Save those rounds. Um, oh, these guys in the bunkers up here, though, get destroyed. They do take out a number of them with them, though. That's nice. That guy dead there. So now it really is just this sandbag line right here. This is it. Like eight or nine soldiers may be alive here. Luckily, they do have some bazookas and Piats. So they're able to get that explosive damage. Oh, they're shooting their own Mustangs. That's how you get out of here if you win this. Well, I guess it's it's whatever. I mean, who cares? Oh, the Reds are just breaking through now. They, they do be just breaking through, don't they? Bro, take out the Piat. What are you doing? What are you doing, friend? No! Oh, no. Oh, he's still alive. What? Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, he died. He got gunned down. Oh, and that's just about it. The end of the Christmas battle. Red and green. <laughs> All right. So, uh... Yellow are dead greens, red are dead reds. Uh, the reds took substantial losses here. I mean, hundreds upon hundreds of them are dead on the battlefield. Really, really brutal. And of course, their vehicles, they only have two tanks left alive, both of them damaged. So a pretty Pyrrhic victory for them. Um, but of course, the greens did end up losing the airbase, and they are donezo. Let's see if we can't fly one of these things. Let's see. Victory lap! In the plane, baby! Let's see. Oh, that's a nice animation. Kind of like that. Beautiful. All right, let's, let's give this a try. All right. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, God! No! <laughs> uh. Um. Guys, don't talk about this. Don't mention it in the comments. Don't. Don't discuss this. This doesn't need to be discussed. Uh, uh, all right, guys, I gotta go. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hit the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff, and don't mention this in the comments. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.